Hello gamers! I am Strawberry and welcome to my stream! Tonight we're going to be uh, making a banner in survival mode and then applying that to a shield because last night I lost my shield uh, while fighting those blazes. <laughs> Hello! Hi! Glad you could make it! Yay! So let's get to it! So let's see here. I am in the farmland and I'm actually going to be doing all this crafting over in the other area so I should head over there. Now the one thing that I need that I haven't already gathered uh, is I'm going to need some green dye. And I don't know exactly where to find green dye in this world. So we're going to just start. Oh, it's okay if you miss a stream. Um, but yeah, it, it's good to have you here tonight. So last night's stream, in case you missed it, I spent a lot of the time trying to get blaze rods. And I was eventually successful and managed to get uh, six blaze rods so that eventually I'll be able to make uh, fire resistance potions, which will make making that stuff with lava a bit easier. But the problem is I didn't keep an eye, even though my shield has mending, I fought too many blazes in a row and I lost my good shield. So, ah, sea pickles can make lime dean die. So maybe I will head out and try to get some sea pickles later. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, is make a loom. So I looked this up earlier, and to make a loom, you need two string and two planks of any type. And I think the loom will look a little different depending on which uh, string and planks you use. And let's see here. I'm going to put the loom right here. There we go. And then the other thing that you need is a banner. Uh-oh. I thought I had more white wool than that. I must have sold it all. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'll have to find either, uh, either an ocean or a desert, which I do not know where those things are on this server. So we might have a little bit of exploration later. But we're going to start with some wool. And you know, if I get enough lime green dye, maybe I'll make a stack of 64 lime green dye to add to my stream later. <laughs> I can be a memer. So yeah, let me just get a stack of wool. we have less sheep than we used to. It used to be that you could just go around in circles forever and never run out of sheep. All right, how much wool have we got here? Oh, we have more than a stack. We're good. All righty. So now we have wool. To make a banner, it takes, uh, let's see here, it takes six wool. And the color of the wool is the base color of the banner by default. Oops, except this won't work because I need a stick and I have to make the stick first. So let's make some planks and then let's make some sticks and put the sticks there and the wool goes around like that and now we have a banner and actually you know what while i'm at it i think i'm gonna make two of these because you can take a banner and some dye and copy it i think at least i've read that i haven't tested that yet all right so now we have a banner and next we're going to need some dye so i have pre-collected some dandelions with yellow dye and some beetroot which will make red dye but i need to find some green dye and i think what i'm going to do 
is. Yeah, I don't have it. I'm pretty sure I've never encountered anything in this world that'll make green dye. So we'll go on a little exploration later, but that's going to be the last part of our banner. The first part, though, I want to show you right at the beginning is if I go into the loom that we made earlier, then I put the banner here. Oops, I just want one. There's one banner there. And then I put the kind of die in it here. And then I can pick one of these patterns. And this was not at all clear to me when I was reading the wiki, uh, how these patterns, how you would get the patterns from the user interface. But when I actually tried it, it really wasn't that hard. So here we have uh, the banner. What I'd like for my banner is kind of a yellow fade that's sort of representative of all those fields of wool that I, that I use all the time. So I'm going to take that as the background. Then I'm going to add a red. This is the closest I can get to a strawberry. So I'm going to add that in the middle as a strawberry. And what I'd like is the little ruffles of the strawberry to be on top. So I'm just going to put yellow in here so you can see them. But I want these little ruffles on top, but I want them to be green, not yellow. So our next step is to go out and collect some green dye. Now, the other thing that I'll need, of course, to put a banner on a shield is a shield. And while we're out collecting green dye, I would like to have a shield on me. So uh, let's make one of those. Uh, do, 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 do. No, wait, that's not the right pattern. Uh, or is it? No, I think I don't need those two. There we go. So shield, and then if I wanted to, I could put this dye pattern on that shield now, but I want to put the yellow on it first. But that is how you make a yellow pattern. And for those of you who were not here last night, uh, as I'm noticing the time, then the new thing is I've asked the stream if you guys can remind me to drink water like every quarter hour on the quarter hour because otherwise I get dehydrated and I don't feel so good the next day. So when I talk for like an hour, I need water, but I sometimes forget. So now let's ditch some things. We can save that there for later. And let me go into the other room where most of the chests are to keep this stuff sort of sorted. I only need one stack of blocks and Let's put the banner in the special place. Uh, this will take with us uh, the rest of this. Yeah, okay, it can go in regular chests. So here's where we put extra blocks. Um, what other extra blocks? Oops, that was die, but anyway. There, here's where we put nether stuff. Oops, not that one, that's end stuff. This one's nether stuff. There's the nether stuff. And what else do we need to get rid of? Oh, chickens and feathers and things. Those go to the villagers, which, yeah, I can put them in here. Okay, chickens and feathers. And wool goes next door. This we're taking with us. That we can just burn, um, and okay, gold we'll put in the nether box. Okay. Oh, and more wool. That goes in the box next door. Okay. And here we are in the bedroom where the wool is. Keep all my wool pillows here. How about that? All right. So. This is an empty enough inventory to go exploring. And today we're going to explore our world until we can find something that will make us some green dye. So we're looking for sea pickles or cactuses. And let's see here. The directions I have explored before. I know it is forest this way for a long time. I know it is forest and stuff that way for a long time. And that way, but this direction. Ow! Hey, stop that, you. Uh, die. Die, zombie, die. Okay, kill the zombie. 
All right, so we are going to head this way. And because I have a really bad sense of direction, all right, chat, you wanna write down these chords? This is where we started, is 320, 157. Uh, no, yeah, negative 320, 157. And we are facing west. So we're gonna keep traveling west for a while. Okay, I have 40 bread. What do you think, chat? Is that gonna be enough? Oh, make sure to bring a bed. Good idea, so if I die out there, I can get back again. Very good idea, chat. Uh, I'll go in and make myself a bed real quick. Whoa, what color bed shall we make today? I think my choices are gray and white, and let's just make a white one. Three, okay, and wood, there's some wood, and bed, and be bed, there we go, bed, alrighty, and put back the excess planks, alright, so we, how am I carrying a whole bunch of netherrack? Where did that come from? Okay, let's put the netherrack back. Do not need netherrack on our wild adventure. Netherrack, okay. But we do have some blocks, those are good. And might as well take shears with us, just in case we run into a wild wool sheep or something. All right, and we don't really need this red dye with us on our wild adventure, so let's put it in the random chest. Okay. Oh, the other thing, chat, actually, if I have, I should have some wheat. The other thing we need is cows. Uh, we need to search for some cows because all the cows in our original villagey area got slaughtered. So if we find cows, we're going to take those back with us too. Okay. Although when I'm looking for a desert, looking for cows at the same time doesn't seem that productive, but we'll see. All right. We are ready. We have our water buckets. We are ready to go off on a wild adventure. And we are looking for something. What is this down here? Oh, it's a zombie wearing shiny pants. Shiny pants are always nice. Leather pants of protection one. Woohoo, I'm rich. Okay, maybe not. But that was fun. Okay, so I'm going to ignore most of the mobs. If I can and just keep heading west until I find a biome that will get me what I want. All right. Oh, I forgot to check. How's everything else? Yes, everything else is fully fixed. Ouch. Oh, water. So I don't think, whoa, a chest, I wonder, oh, that's probably just something that a fellow traveler has left. So I don't think these will give me sea pickles, will they? I've never actually seen a sea pickle before. I don't even know how to harvest this seagrass. As you can tell, I am clearly a bit laggy because it didn't even make the I'm drowning sound until after I was out of the water. All right, let's see here. Let's make a crafting table and ow, 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 what? Who is? For... Oh, What have we got here? Oh, skeleton. There we go. 
You know, I really should have slept before setting off on this whirlwind adventure. But it's too late now. Okay, let's eat. And let's craft. And wait, I thought I made more blocks than that. Okay, well, eh, here we go. This will do. Make sticks. And let's let us make uh, a hoe so that we can harvest some of that grass down there. At least I don't know what it takes to harvest the grass, and I'm going to be a bit of an explorer as opposed to looking it up. Oh, sea pickles light up the water near coral reefs. Ah, good to know. Yeah, I haven't played 1.16 that much, so I am not that familiar with it. But I'm going to make a hoe so that if I need a hoe to harvest them, I'm ready. Alrighty, let's break that. So maybe by the time we find the sea, then it'll be night again and we'll be able to, to harvest some sea pickles. So I just want to test. What is this stuff? And how do you harvest it? Hmm, that didn't seem to drop any blocks at all. There we go, swimming. Swimming seems really slow. I know you can add enchantments to yourself to be able to swim faster. Um, why don't I? Oh, first let's make sure we're still going west. I think I am, but I get turned around so easily. Oh, yep, I'm facing north. Okay, this way is west. Let's go this way. Over the mountain or through the mountain? Uh, I like going through. I saw, who was it? It was puns in the uh, puns and Ant Frost uh, 2v2 competition yesterday. When he was searching for diamonds and he was going through the mountain, then he didn't make, I was confused about how he did it. And then I realized he'd done it with water. He like made a one block hole and uh, tunneled through. He was looking for diamonds and he just made a one block hole and then he put water in it and he was swimming through this one block hole looking for diamonds. And I thought that was really cool. It was a technique I had never seen before when you're strip mining for diamonds. And he wanted diamonds. Yeah. Oh, sprint in water to sp swim. Okay. Well, I thought I'd tried that, but it didn't work out quite the way I'd expected. All right. Here's a sheep, but we don't need that because we have plenty of wool back home. And plenty of sheep back home, but, you know, a couple extra red flowers won't hurt us. In case we want to make more red banners later. And there's a pig, and I don't think we have pigs back home, but we don't really need pigs back home. If it was a cow, I might make a little enclosure for it to get it on the way back. Oh, this is still not a good biome for finding what we want. But we'll keep going this way. Keep heading. I am still facing west. I prefer to go around the mountains. And if this were real life, then I'd make sure to note every time if I go around stuff to the right sometimes, then make sure I go around stuff to the left the next time so that you can stay roughly on your same trajectory. If you're ever doing orienteering and you have to go through the woods, then you'll want to, and you run into a tree, our natural human tendency, oh, cows, your natural human tendency is to always go around the trees in the same direction if you're not thinking about it. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I can't even tower up because there's stuff on top of me. 
Hi, cow. I'm going to make you a nice, safe little home. Ooh, two cows. So that you... Come here. Here, Bessie, Bessie, Bessie. Wait, how did I do that? That was not what I wanted to do. Okay. Here, Bessie, Bessie, Bessie. Here, cow. Here, cow. I want two cows. Come on. I want to put two cows in a pen. Here, cow. <gasps> Yay! Two cows. Breeding pair. Ooh, I'm going to make you guys have a baby soon. Ooh, three cows. Excellent. Now, oh, 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 oh. no, stay there. Stay there. Thank you, cow. Oh, you're a good cow. Who's a good cow? Yeah, Bessie. Ah, no, no, no. That way. Here, here. Here. Wheat. See, I got wheat for ya. Yeah, I got wheat. Weedy, weedy, wheat. Okay, watch this. <gasps> Make a baby. And stay. Okay. You will be safe. I will make you a little safe enclosure here. And I'm going to go find some green dye. But when I get back... Oops. Am I out of blocks already? No, I got more blocks. Okay. When I get back, I will take you home. And you will have a nice new house. So give you some light. Uh-oh, now I can't get out. Why did I do that? Uh, okay. Parkour out. All right. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, wait, if I break this, and then I... Ah, break this, I can jump out. They're stuck down there. Give them a little more space. There you go. Now you will be nice and safe. All right, let's take down these cords too. We have negative 196, or no, negative 980, no, negative 968. Gosh, I can't look today. Okay, 986, negative 986, and 44. Okay, that's where the cows are. Now, let's face west facing south facing west why does it feel like i'm not going straight anymore okay let's go this way to the west i am not one of those people who can sprint on top of the trees Ooh, look more cows but we don't need more but at least now I know where to find more cows if I need more cows. Oh, ouch, I forgot the berries hurt. So I need more cows in the future. All right. Here we have another river. River is not... Oh, bunnies. In 1.17, then there's... You can make a... Uh, a bundle out of bunny hide. The bunnies are really hard to kill and they run away fast, but if you get like eight of them, then you can make a little chest thing to take with you. So it's like a little minute. It, it doesn't allow you to have any more inventory. Like you can only put 64 things. So if you're putting the same things in your bundle, then it's nothing more than what you had before, but it allows you to bundle up different things. So if you only have like three of each kind of flower and you've got a bunch of different flowers, if you're on a flower hunting expedition, you don't have to take up your whole inventory with each different kind of flower. You can put all the flowers together in a single bundle. All right, over the hills we go. Yeah, my daughter and I have been experimenting with a 1.17 uh, beta world. How long do you have to go to get out of this forest? 
I went in this direction specifically. See, I'm trying to sprint. There we go. Now I'm going faster. <laughs> yeah, I went in this direction specifically because I've already been a long way in each of the other directions in our Minecraft world. And I already know that none of the other directions have, at least nearby, an interesting biome. This biome just keeps going and going and going. And I do not believe that we had large biomes turned on. Uh-oh, and the sun is beginning to set, and I'm getting far enough away. Oops. Oh, how did I do that? Wait, what? Okay. I am so not a speedrunner, but I hope to be one someday. Just go towards the setting sun, then we'll know we we'll keep going east. <gasps> okay, you know what? Maybe when I get to the top of this hill, I may just tower up and see what I can see from here. See if they see another nearby biome in another direction, because I've been going this way for a long way. <laughs> there was the trick of the light. I saw the blue water, and I thought it was some kind of weird berry thing with the tree. All right, how far can we see? Come on, chunks. It is literally forest in every direction. Now, this way must still be west. I think I see something kind of light over there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what are options? Video settings. Yeah, my render distance is as far as it can be. And I don't think... There's a way to show any farther away. So that is, wait, if I do this, that doesn't change how far I can see, does it? Uh-oh, I see lightning. Or I am experiencing lightning, and I am kind of at the top of a very tall tower here. I think I better tower down. That is not a safe place to be. There was one time when my mom and a friend were backpacking and they were at the top of a ridge trying to get over the hill before a storm hit. And uh, they were hoping to... Wait, am I still going west? Yes, I'm still going west. They were hoping to get over the hill uh, before the storm hit. And uh, they were, they, they didn't make it over the hill before the storm hit. And they were on the top of this ridge during a lightning storm. And they're like, ah, we need to get down now. So they were trying to be as careful as they could possibly be. Like go quick and low to the ground and as fast as they could. And they ran into some Boy Scouts with umbrellas at the top of a ridge during a lightning storm. <laughs> and they're like, um... I think you shouldn't be having those umbrellas here. That seems a bit dangerous. So I do not like to be out at the top in a high place in the lightning. Even though I know this is just a game. And I do have inventory true on, although I am half dead. So I should probably like make a safe space for myself place a bed so that I don't have to redo this if I happen to die, but let me get safe first. Um, okay, you know what? Easiest way... No, I'm not carrying my shovel anymore. Okay, just gonna keep going. And if lightning hits a creeper, 
Uh, it has been requested that I try to farm creeper heads, which is one of the reasons I haven't just tried to sleep. And to get a creeper head, you need to, uh, yeah, let lightning hit a creeper. Oh my, there's lots of creepers here. I hear them. Okay, yep. I'm just running. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, am I still going west? Yes, I'm still going west. Okay, uh, and it's still raining. Uh, okay, come on. I feel like I need to get safe enough to even make a house. Uh, run, run, run. Oh no, creepers. Continue running. Well, uh-oh, I'm gonna get trapped. Okay, let's make a house. Oh, it's baby zombies. No wonder. No, no, come on, die, die. Please don't kill me. Ah, cornered me. I'm gonna die. No. Uh, come on. Come on. No. Ah, I died. <sighs> okay. Well, <laughs> that was uh, exciting. Oh, and I'm way back here. Well, you know what? I'm just after green dye. I can look for green dye from this place. Okay, so this is near our nether portal, which is the nether portal that's near the uh, fortress. So this is a long way from home. And, you know, given that I did not find any green dye near our house, I may as well just look for green dye near here. And let's see here. So from here, I already know... There's no good biomes in that direction that would give us green dye because you get to the winterlands if you go this direction. And that direction is also west. So what if I go east or maybe even, what direction is this? North. Okay. Yeah. Let's try east. Well, let's see here. This is 5,000 blocks away. And previously, we're, our cows were at negative 900, so hopefully between 5,000 and 900, it's not all forest the whole way. Oh, wow, what's that over there? Okay, I'm going to try to MLG water. Actually, I could just jump and sprint into that water. That seems easier. Well, okay. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Turns out that's not a place, not a jump I can make. Well, this looks interesting. This looks like my daughter's been here. Oh, that's an interesting little house made of portal stone. Or, oh, wait, is this a, this might be a ruined portal. This doesn't, this, okay, let's explore. Come on. There we go. Okay. This is a ruined portal. This is not... Ah! Oh! oh. Well, um, I guess that's one way to loot all the stuff in the chest. I am now carrying a whole lot of stuff. Why don't I make a chest? Ooh, a sword of looting too. That looks good. Okay, let's see here. What was it? Oops. That I definitely don't need. So now I am carrying a chest. I should place the chest. I should eat the food. Eat the food. Otherwise I'm going to dry. I should make myself a place of safety, just like the one I made for the cows, but I used all my blocks on the cows, so 
Come on. Um, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to... Oh, it's a cursed pickaxe. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to make myself a little happy house uh, like this. Ah, no, no, please. Uh, is it better to make a house or try to fight this guy? No! I think I'm experiencing lag. That does not feel like it should have gone that way. Okay. House. House. Ah! It's going to be a very small house. 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 Uh, house. House. All right. Ah! Come on. Come on. House. There we go. Safe house. Whew. <sighs> All right, I'm safe. Okay, eat. No, don't open the chest. Eat. All right, let's explore this ruined portal. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, a golden sword of looting too. I think my sword is better than that already. Yeah, I already have a sword of looting three, so I don't need that. And a pickaxe with the curse of vanishing? I don't think so. Fire Protection 3 Golden Helmet, though. Given that I need gold when I go into the nether, that is definitely a win. I do not need the Leather Prot 1 Pants or the oh, Feather Falling Leather Boots. Well, I don't have Feather Falling nor access to Feather Falling, so maybe I'll keep those. Okay, so my Iron Shovel I want to keep. I don't need Rotten Flesh. I don't need Berries. Um, don't need poppies, don't need a crossbow for now. Although crossbow is a good thing to have if you're going to be exploring like I am. Let's put that there. Okay, don't need steak, don't need feathers. Uh, golden carrot. Oh, I should have eaten the golden carrots before dying. You know what? I'm going to stick the golden carrots in the hot bar. Okay. There we go. And now, is it still nighttime or should I just make a bed? Let's make myself a little window here and then let's explore this rune portal. Now, I can't tell whether or not it's night because it's raining, so let's not worry about that. Yeah, I am definitely experiencing lag. Okay, let's expand the house a bit. I was far enough away. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just mine that. And then I can't step on. Oh, there's lava under there. Uh, I am not a speedrunner, and I have a real portal nearby. I don't need to keep that lava around. Let's make lava go away. Okay. Now, exploring. So I am, last night I talked about different types of gamers, and I am a bit of an explorer. I am also a socializer, but I think it's kind of neat to explore the world. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to do that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Make a little safe space here. Okay. So, now I can explore this ruined portal a little bit more, see what we've got. Well, I eat bread, heal up. Let's see, is this completely safe? Not really. Uh, let's do that and that. Okay, now we're a little safer. All right. Another egg. And let's kill that lava. See what's under here. I have never dug out a ruined portal before. I'm sure if I ever became a speedrunner, then I'd like memorize every possible ruined portal pattern. 
I suppose I should be a little bit more careful unless I, in case I find more lava. But so far, so good. Whee! I love my efficiency, whatever this is, pickaxe. Okay. There we go. Oh, I wonder if this place is special and it's got the little... No, it doesn't make sense that it would have... Ah! I was not even standing on that. It doesn't make sense that it would have the uh, stone on it. Or the, the uh, fortress stone on it. Because, I mean, this portal, it might go straight to, or not fortress, what's the word for it? Stronghold. There was stronghold stone at this place. But that doesn't really make sense. It goes to, it doesn't go to a stronghold, it goes to a fortress in the nether. Or rather, this portal is very near the portal that we placed manually, which goes to the fortress. Okay, I can't think of anything. Oh, there's a little bit more of it. So I don't think there's any more extra bonus chests around here. I have explored this pretty thoroughly. Okay, well, let's reset the spawn. No, I'm close enough to my other spawn point. I don't need to reset the spawn. Let's see if it's daytime. It is definitely still raining, but is it daytime? Uh, I can't even tell. Okay, now which direction were we going in? I know I came upon this, oops, uh, from this direction. So we were going this way and we were going east, right. I remember saying to myself, that uh, if we went back towards the other direction that we came from in meat space, it was okay because this is like 5,000 blocks away from where the other place is. And hopefully between the two, it's, uh, there's going to be a different biome between them. All right, here we go. Let's tower up and see what we can see. It's not lightning anymore. Up we go. Oh, come on. I am experiencing server lag because there's no reason for me not to be able to place a block there. Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. Come on please. How do they do it without having server lag? And those other places. Okay, let's see what we can see. A 32 chunk render distance. Yeah, I don't have any of the mods installed, so I can't like Especially go in, but does any of this, it looks like there might be something other than forest in that direction. But it looks like forest in every other direction. So let's go this way and this way is facing west. All right, further west we go. Oh wait, is west the way that we said we came from though? I mean, we've already explored in that direction. I think we have explored in that direction. It's this way. Maybe we'll see if this river goes out to sea somewhere. Um, uh, although, you know, we could go west. Why not? All right, west it is. Unless chat, you have a different, uh, preference for which direction we go. Actually, I'm going to, I'm not going to MLG water. I'm going to slow water down and I can get more water down at the bottom. There we 
go. So I want to save the wear and tear on my uh, pickaxe if I don't need to. All right. Go west, young man. Go west. Let's see if we can find a biome that isn't a forest and that might have lime green dye, because that is tonight's goal. Oh. Trying to get better at this skill of using water buckets to climb mountains. But realistically, it's just easier if you do it with blocks. All right. Oh, yeah, that's where we were earlier. Okay, it is a different biome. It's this plains biome. But you know, I haven't been that far in this direction. Let's see what we get if we go this way. And I've been more to the right than I have to the left from here. So let's see what we can see. Oh, we can see pillagers and the pillager outpost. Swimming away. I have escaped them. Yeah, this is the way to go if we want to get to Fireberg or whatever it's called. Yep. Ignore these guys. Keep going this way for a really long time until I can find some place that'll get me some lime green dye. Had I realized it was going to take so long, maybe I wouldn't have embarked on this, but I really want green on my banner. And now we're into forest again. It's feeling kind of dangerous. Why don't we just make a little house? There we go. Uh, oh, come on. All right. I think we're safe. Now, and we even have some light. We've got a nice little house here. And I think there's too many zombies too close by to sleep, but we can give it a try just in case we die. Yeah, I, well, not being able to place the bed is not the same thing as not being able to sleep. Let's try making this just a little bit bigger. Expanding our little uh, house here. Okay. Now let's place a bed. Why won't it let me place a bed? Oh, there we go. Ha ha! Okay. Now it's daytime. Let's go out. Okay. 
and let's go west again. Okay, so let's see here. The sun rises in the east, and I can't see the sun, which is part of why I have troubles with this in Minecraft. Okay, facing east, so we're going west. Okay, this way is west. And we're going to keep going west until we find a biome with green dye. Ooh, okay. Well, I have like a happy field savanna here. I think that's a place where we found horses earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure that I'm going to find one in this direction. Unless these... No, these are white flowers. These are red flowers. I don't think there's any green flowers. Ooh, but I might as well take some of these home. Because we don't have any of these near our local area. Going to import invasive species. Ha 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 ha. I think there is an ocean in this direction. I do seem to recall that there is an ocean this way. If I go this direction far enough. Lone tree on the savanna. This is where we got our horses from. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them now. I didn't bring any saddles, though, to see if I can find the strongest and the fastest. One day we're going to breed some horses. More cows, but there's no way I'm yanking those back 6,000 blocks. Although we did make our path through the nether so that you can... We brought the horses back through the nether, but I don't think it's worth it for the cows. And I think... Oh, wait. How are my boots doing? Yeah, they're fine. More flowers. And a chicken. And this is not an ocean. Oh my, I got hungry. Good thing I stocked up on bread before we left. Okay. Nope, that is not a sea pickle. Oh, ocean. Wait, how am I facing east? I was supposed to be going west. North. Well, maybe I'll go north for a bit, because that... Oh, whew. Yeah, that would have been a long fall. Good thing I didn't fall into that trap. Okay. Let's just go this direction for a while. Let's go... Wait, now I'm facing east. I want to be facing west. There we go. Keep going west. Keep going west. You can do this. West, eventually, I think I'm going to find an ocean. And an ocean might get us some sea coral, or might get us some sea cucumbers. I think if I go out this way, maybe. Wait, now I'm facing north again. Well, we're going to go northwest. 
going to go towards things that look like they might lead to the sea. Okay, that is the snow biome I was talking about earlier. We're going to go around the edge of that. So I'm pretty sure it goes on for a long ways. Yeah, the speedrunners can just like place blocks and keep going. But I am not one of those people. Although I'd like to be one someday. It is a skill I will have to practice in very compartmentalized, targeted ways. Yeah, so one of the things that I've got on my list of things, list of topics to do is a theory of fun. There's this book uh, for game designers called A Theory of Fun by Raf Koster. It's really good. And I wanted to share sort of the ideas in that book with you guys one night. Um, but I thought I'd reread the book first. And I have not yet finished doing that. Now, is this fast to run on packed ice? I seem to recall putting a boat on packed ice is really fast. Okay, wait, I'm facing north again, not west. This is west. I think when I finally do find something, I'm going to take advantage of that uh, respawn ability because this is a really long way. I have been going for almost, oh my goodness, chat, you forgot to remind me to drink water. I have been going for almost an hour and we still haven't found green dye. I think we need smaller biomes. This just keeps going and going and going. But one day, I really am sure it does run into an ocean, because that's when we went to the stronghold, we ran into the ocean. Ah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, chat. I don't want to make you feel bad. <laughs> it's just something I forget to do if nobody reminds me. Well, I apologize that this one has not been very interesting. It's clear why the speedrunners reset their seeds all the time. If you don't find what you're looking for right at the beginning, it can take a really, really long time to find it. Uh, we might... Oh, wow! There's a house! We found a village. I think I might go to that village and then call it a night. I think I may just nether travel eventually to get back home because I have an iron pickaxe. Let's see. Hey, village. Oh, this looks like an abandoned village or something. It's got... Uh, It's got cobwebs everywhere. I don't think I've ever seen a village like this. That's kind of cool. But the question is, is there green dye in this village? It clearly hasn't been looted before. All right. Okay, I think it is... Well, it's not quite two yet. I'll look through these things, but we should start looking at who are we going to raid tonight. So chat, if you've got an idea of who we should raid, go ahead and write it into... Oh, it's a zombie village. Watch out. Okay, thank you for the advice. I will have to be careful. I have never been in a zombie village before, but I think this is a good place to end, and we'll start here next time.